hello guys and welcome back so now before adding the option to select the maps i have decided to go ahead and set up our second map first of all okay so for that uh, let's first of all open up our first map so in here let's open up this map one and when you open it double click on player okay so here is the player what we're gonna do now is uh, right here inside the assets folder let's create a new folder by the name of player prefabs and in here what we're gonna do we will create a prefab of our player okay then create a prefab of the spawner we will leave the spawn points as it is uh, create a prefab of the scope canvas uh, canvas then the player ui and i think that is it we already have the zombie one two three four and also uh, we will be needing to add this game manager script on our second map as well okay so keep that in mind now once we have the prefabs now let's simply go ahead and open up our second map so inside scenes or so map 2 click on save okay when you do that this is our environment so what we're gonna do we will first of all select this whole ground okay let me let me actually go ahead and select this whole environment and set it to ground yes change children that is it then right here what we're gonna do we'll click on player prefabs add our player right here okay let me turn on the gizmo so that we can see our player okay let's move this player up here like this okay then uh, add the player ui then the scope canvas and then the spawner okay as you can see everything is right here now uh, we need to attach these things but first of all let's start setting up our player okay so first of all we need to add the health slider so inside the player ui you will find this health and score in here go inside here and this is the slider so just drag and drop it in there then the death screen so here it is drag and drop the death screen then everything else is set up let's click on the weapons okay it needs the text so we're gonna add the text to it but first of all let me check this one more time okay so now if we select all of the weapons we need to attach this uh, current ammo text in there so if we go inside rifle ammo then in here this is the ammo text so drag and drop that okay once you do that our weapons are set up okay then if we select the camera everything is set up in the camera as well now if you click on player ui cross here health and everything else is good we now need to select the touch screen everything is set up in that screen as well if you we select a uh, scope canvas uh, it is uh, set up as well okay also in the player select the fourth rifle in here you will find this scope system in here we need to provide the scope image so what we're gonna do in the scope image we will provide this whole scope canvas and in the player ui we need to provide the whole player ui okay and everything else is set up for this then in the spawner we need to provide the text so inside player ui we need to find the wave number here it is try and drop the wave number then the wave timer so add the wave timer as well 
and as you know the zombie prefabs are already added but we now need to create some spawn points okay so let's go ahead and create spawn points let's start it from here okay but first of all we actually need to um, pick this whole area as well so if we select the whole environment click on uh, this window click on bake then select the bake button and as you can see everything is now baked okay let's now create spawn points create a empty game object name this as spawn points then whoops uh, click on inspector so here is the spawn point let me move it down below right here okay make sure it is on the deck right here like that okay then what we're gonna do in here we will create empty game object name it one this will be our first spawn point then duplicate it name it as two the second spawn point will be right here then we need to duplicate it and let's for example add the next spawn point right there okay in this whole map we will just leave spawn points as three since this is a very small map okay so now if we click on spawner make the spawn point zero then select these uh, actually uh, select spawner and lock it and then select these three drag and drop it inside spawn points that is all okay so everything is set up let's actually play the game see how does it looks okay here is our player as you can see we can't change our weapon because uh, in the starting of the of the video i've told you that we need to add the game manager script to our environment so now if you go inside scripts here is game manager drag and drop it okay it needs the high score text so inside player ui then health and score in here you will find this high score and current score so open their text and this is the high and this is the current then the weapons so if we open up the player like this okay actually uh, lock the environment and then select these weapons and drag and drop them inside the weapons okay one two three four that is it so the current weapon index will be changed by itself now if you play the game again all right here it is let's select second weapon third and fourth and as you can see we have the sniper as well and now as you notice the zombies are spawn as well okay let's shoot this one okay let's shoot the previous one okay it is shooting zombies as well okay and the reason it is not shooting this zombie uh, fine is because the uh, uh, collider of this zombie is a little bit behind the zombie okay so you can fix that by making the collider a little bit in front of the zombie and uh, try increasing the radius of the collider okay and then that issue will be fixed as well okay so now as you can see on our map 2 everything is working perfectly fine as well and we didn't check if the player can walk or not so let me check that okay here is our player let's walk in here okay as you can see our player is getting stuck right here in the stairs this is because the collider of the player so we can just jump okay as you can see the player is going down really really slowly okay this is uh, because the whole environment is set on ground but now as you can see the player can walk anywhere and let's check the zombies 
the zombies as you can see they can follow us as well and we can kill them as well let me check the clear gravity and everything is set up okay but i don't know why the player was uh, moving to the ground really slowly okay we're gonna fix that issue don't worry about it and also if you want the player to go inside these stairs you can increase the size of this tower okay Okay, so increase the size of the tower and also make this uh, character uh, controller a little bit smaller okay so that it fits this area in my previous game it was fitting this whole area but I don't know why in this one it doesn't work that well okay so anyways what we can do in order to fix this that I will create an extra video to add uh, crouch to our game okay and then when we add crouch then this issue will be fixed as well okay but for now as you know that we have the second map all ready and set up now in the next video we're gonna work on the main menu and whenever the player select any map then we will play that map and also we will apply all of the uh, changes to our camera okay the sensitivity smooth speed and the difficulty level as well okay we will apply all of that settings right here and in the map one as well